So I got this new face mill from Shars, uh, and I'm going to check out how accurate the insert notches are. I can check them out this direction with the surface plate and indicator. So that is reading just about zero. Like I don't, don't have a good angle on the indicator with the camera in there, but it's pretty close. Yeah, that's, that's zero or a little over. See, this guy is just under. Just about zero. Just about zero. And just under. So, pretty good. You do get what you pay for when you buy Shars tools. So, this checked out fairly well as far as the position of the um, insert shoulders. I don't have a good way of Actually, well, I could check these shoulders too. They'd be a little harder to measure. Maybe I'll, I think I'll do that just with the inserts. Um, but this guy is an arbor I also got for from Shars. It fits in nicely, good and snug. However, this is the bolt that they gave me with the arbor. Now, I've got washer on there. So, yeah. Way too big to fit their own cutter. So, such a goofy bolt. This really needs a much smaller head to fit in there. So, I could maybe call them and have them send me a new bolt or something. But what I'm going to do is just put it here in the end of the arbor with the washer as a spacer and then turn it down on the lathe. And so just turn this down, the washer acting as a little buffer so I can cut into that a little bit without damaging the arbor. Get that down and so I can mount um, mount the cutter on the arbor. So, yeah, it would be really frustrating if I didn't have a lathe to get um, two pieces from the same company that are supposed to work together but don't. So... There we go. Because this is my old, my, uh, not, not that old, but my, the first face mill that I got. And it uses these, is it APK 1604 inserts? Something like that. And these ones are cheap inserts. And it, well, first of all, this cutter uses the odd corners. Um, so there's a primary corner here, and this this cutter is designed to use the odd um, the odd corners, which is nice to have one of each. So that's another reason why I wanted to get this cutter, so I could have use all four corners of the inserts I get. Um, this one is a Dorin tool, something door. I have to take a look. Um, I get that the right name for that, but Doran something made in USA um, on super sale on Amazon. So I got it for like sixty dollars, seventy dollars, and the suggested retail was two hundred something. So whether or not they're going out of business or this was a second or what, I figured I'd try a made in USA seconds, and then I've got a um, China's finest here. So another reason why I got a new face mill is I have these cheap inserts I bought a 10 pack of. Now, it's a little hard to see, but it's using the, like I said, the original face mill I got uses the odd corners. If you get the corners on here, they're different from each other visually. So I'll turn that around to get the same angle. So that corner is not the same as that corner. Same here, so different and different again. Um, it's not just the camera angle, although that does change things. These corners are different. So the cheap inserts, not so good. These are Cobra Carbide inserts and the odd corners are not the same on them. So that means that my face mill doesn't mill right because they're 
all wrong. So I got some carbide, some Cobra carbide lathe turning inserts, which work just fine. Um, and there it doesn't matter the size. They don't all have to be the same because you're only cutting on a single point anyways. So, but for a face mill, it really does matter if the if they're not all the same. So hopefully these main corners are actually accurate. And if you look at the side of them, you can't see. Uh, there's a line here where this is a, has a different finish than over here. So it's like this finish is this corner leading to the odd corner is finished differently. I see. I'll just get that in the light just right. Yeah. So, anyways, so that that parting line between the two faces is different on these. Um, so I think, well, I hope that the primary corners on these inserts are accurate, so. So, there we have it, fits in nice. And like so. So, fits perfect. So I've got the mill trammed in, so this is now square with the uh, the bed it was off so it's good I'm doing it I ended up doing it I didn't video it ran out of space on the camera and tramming a mill is rather tedious or this one is anyways the head is isn't weighted evenly so it wants to flop to one side no matter what you do so if you tap on it it goes the opposite direction from what you tap anyways it's a pain but I've got the new Char's face mill in with the cheap inserts and I'm going to face this off and then do the other sides and so yeah let's see how it goes <laughs> So that's a pretty nice surface finish for for hot rolled steel. You know, it can feel some roughness to it, but that's pretty darn good. So would I recommend getting a Shara's face mill? Uh, well, yeah, this one fits my needs perfectly. The price was right. I only had to do a small amount of modification to get it to work properly, and that was the arbor mounting to the face mill. Um, I would not recommend getting dirt cheap inserts, particularly if you're going to use the, want to use all four corners of them because they might not be the same, uh, but that's a whole different problem. I hope you liked this video. If you did, I'd hope you'd consider subscribing. I've got a virtually endless supply of projects I could make videos about. If there's something I can do better, or if there's a type of video you'd like to see more of, leave a comment down below.